Madam well, Speaker, the dangers facing Jews and Muslims today in Europe are genuine. We think, however, that when they feel that they have to, have to give in to right-wing pressures and give up symbols that they hold them dear, and this won't really help in them feeling safe in making sure that the immigration security right tax stop, but things are actually going to increase. What we're going to do for you in closing up is three things. Firstly, we're going to provide four reasons as to why we think this will increase extremism against these movements. Secondly, we're going to tell you what, even in the worst case, when attacks continue, we think those attacks can be used to galvanize support for the freedom of religion for these minorities. And thirdly, we're going to explain to you, finally, on the extremism point, why we think this will lead to more extremist minority <coughs> religions, why we think that they will be worse in Afghanistan, and why, therefore, the conflict will deteriorate inclusively. <coughs> so why will this then, uh, before I do that, a couple of responses. So, they tell, tell the closing government that people will, res will respect their leaders and, and, for, and for that reason, like, they won't turn towards the extremists. We think that analysis was purely based on, on catholicism, which isn't exactly a minority religion. Because catholicism is religion, but people have almost entirely respect for the leaders and as a divine command from Rome, which was ordained by God. That's far different, for instance, in Jewish scripture, where debate and reading the Torah yourself, we're discussing on that, and we're therefore having, having, the, having the religious leader as a, as a, as a, a counselor and a guide, but also a ruler. That's why there's often public disagreement within these communities, and they're very likely probably disagree on this, more on that later. Um, they then tell you, France is a very secular state, therefore they will never accept these minority religions. They, they may not accept all facets of, of these religions, they may have banned burqas, they're still quite happy to, to ordinate other forms of, of religion, there are still public prayer rooms in France. More than that, I think that even if they don't really accept minority religion in entirety, if that's even the claim they're going to make, we, don't, we still don't believe that French people just sit idly by and say, well, it's, it's really great if you're going to be attacked by your religion. We saw massive public support when synagogues were attacked from moderate fronts in Paris. Yeah. A march 200,000 men strong through the centre, many of them comprising of Catholics who have allied themselves in the name of religious freedom. So we do think we can be that support. So why then don't we think that they will help sort of solve these problems? The first fallacy they make is thinking that, that the only way in which you can identify someone by its religion is by the, the display of, re of religious um, heirlooms, etc., in the public. We tell you that quite often there are stereotypes uh, amongst how a person or a Jewish or Islamic descent looks. That means that these extremists still often call out people who have stereotypical Jewish racial features, for instance. If, and, and, in that, and in that way, we think that all these kinds of, of oppression on the streets, this cat calling, will continue to exist. More than that, they can continue to go on, for instance, towards synagogues and, and protest in front of these movements, like what happened again in Paris. So we think in that way, these kind of extremist movements can still continue to exist. That means the fear is going to continue to exist. That lack of acceptance still continues to exist. People aren't going to feel safer in that regard, because now they have to make the synagogue unrecognizable. Now they can no longer tell, tell now they can no longer tell whether a whether a sermon is happening with, within within a mosque. In that way, they have to be forced to go entirely underground. That hurts them really badly. Why? Point two. We tell you, we tell you that we tell you maybe these elements of of, of these rituals can feel as not that important. We do think they feel as highly important when they are part of the expression when you are fighting against oppression in the first place. When they are a symbol of your resistance within an within expression. When you that, when you remove that when you remove that people feel entirely afraid and fearful on their day-to-day -day interactions. We think that's highly damaging for these people. The main reason why proposition wants to do this presumably is so that these people feel more safer. I don't think you feel safe when instead of only feeling unsafe when you're called upon for being Jewish on the streets, you now have the feeling every time you walk on the streets you feel naked, not having a Jewish heirloom, because you're very afraid at any moment in time someone can point out and say, we don't like you, no thank you. Thirdly, we think this exacerbates existing stereotypes. She now never have day-to-day -day interactions and see normal people living on the street, playing with children, etc., etc. The only thing you now see is media response towards your religion. What tends to be in the media news? Extremist Muslims, for instance. People who are very, very scary. That means it's more likely that existing stereotypes about scary Muslims or, or or, or, or like global Zionist conspiracies in some countries in, in Eastern Europe are the, only ones, are the only ones who continue existing. That means that it's far more likely that people's based assumptions about religion will be informed by these kind of narratives and not by day-to-day -day interactions. We understand that isn't a perfect comparison. At least it provides some counterweight or an opportunity for counterweight to exist. 
due to the forms that you cannot call out when the media responds to extremist Muslims that you can have organizations stand in front of it and have counter messages and counter programming within national news sources. That is at least better than their side, but it's the only story that goes out. But finally, you now diminish public support for victims of attack because nowadays, uh, in our situation, when you're the victim of attack, we think the majority of people don't really think it's okay if you're attacked because of who you are. But now, <coughs> the story will be, well, didn't that person maybe, maybe wear a religious symbol? Maybe he was responsible for his own attack. In that way, we victim blame that person and reduce the public support that, that person gets. In all this way, it's making feel less safe. Go ahead, open it. Sir. In France, people are not practicing religion in public space from the majority. This is why praying on the street in France that Marine Le Pen used in her campaign was so legitimate to use because it was so strange. Now you only have to face people with the fact that they're being racist if they don't uh, support okay. these people. People don't express their religion in France. As a consequence, France has far more religion hate than, for instance, the UK or the Netherlands, where this does occur because people never see this religion in France. Even in the worst case, even if attacks happen, what we tell you is that we're likely to decide that can govern public support because all the reasons I talked about, because there's a because there's a massive moderate majority who at least believes you should not be attacked for who you are. That means that when those attacks occur, you have massive public 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 displays of support. You then get political capital increasing that because we all see many moderates going for us voting for the Labour Party, for the Muslim people in many of the countries, and they will get political support for more police protection, and then that's way for more religious freedom of protection and for those kind of laws. That increases better on our side of the house when we can when we can have full support and you don't get victim blaming. Why then will they become more extremists? Because what we tell you is when you feel it's when you feel that you can no longer express your religion, and when a religious leader says you can no longer express your religion because they because because the literal reason that they are afraid of other things. Because they, they're not going to use tell like they're not going to use scriptural reasons. Scriptural reasons is you have to wear these things. They have to get political reasons, like we are really afraid of extreme attacks. That means that these people say, I can no longer believe in my own religion, I will therefore join the extre they join extremists, because that those guys still tell me I can join a religion. That is why you get a massive increase, and that is why it becomes far more likely you see people being extremists on the street, and it becomes far more likely that that is the narrative that will be made in society. For all those reasons, we're very proud to be.